I'm about to do a Nutella mask prank. I'm gonna put Nutella all over my face and then have a mask on and go tell them that some guy told me he'd give me 10 bucks if I ate his butthole out in the bathroom. Pulled down the mask and be like, yeah, it was crazy. Have Nutella all over my face. It's probably gonna be pretty funny. In the bathroom, I went in there and there was a guy and he said he'd give me $20 if I licked his butthole. Yeah. It was, it was just kind of, I thought it was kind of creepy. And you did it anyway? No, I didn't you do did? it. I didn't do it. I just thought I'd let you know I was in the bathroom. I think it was like a homeless guy. And he told me he'd give me $10 if I licked his butthole. I know, it was absolutely crazy. Hey, bro, there's a dude in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Said he'd give me 20 bucks if I licked his butthole. I just thought that's something I should report. <laughs> I'm just warning you, don't go in the bathroom. There's a guy in there. He'll say he'll give you $20 if you lick his butthole. What? I just thought I'd warn you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> Dude, see, like, this is, it's, like, funny. It's funny. If you get mad at this, then that's your problem. You're miserable, and you probably hate your life, so do something better. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, be careful if you go into the guy's bathroom. There's a guy in there. He'll tell you he'll give you $20 if you lick his butthole. Go. Bro, bro, look, yeah, look, look, look. I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one second, gentlemen. Do we have an issue going on? I need to ask you to stop recording. He just um, has it for. Stop recording. It's for his hearing. You have trouble hearing? Yeah, that's like a big hearing aid thing. I'm gonna need you to put that down. Oh, yeah, I just said there's a guy in the bathroom. He said he'd give me $20 if I licked his butthole. It, whoa, 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 bro. Dude, call the authorities. What? What are you? What are you doing, bro? Call the authorities, man. I don't want to be recorded. You don't have my consent. You could have just told us to leave, bro. Hey, call the authorities. I was just trying to warn them about the guy in the bathroom, bro. Uh, apparently you're the one that was in the bathroom doing all the nonsense. Oh, because of this? Yes. Oh, that makes sense. But, yeah, he's still recording me. Well, yeah. Be safe. Be safe, really. Yeah, you were pretty aggressively running at the camera. No, I was literally trying to hold it because he had not had. It looked like you were like trying to be in the NFL or something, bro. Okay, I'll do the Heisman. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I have this all over my face. <laughs> hey Siri, call the authorities. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Guys, it might just be me, but I literally absolutely love Halloween so much. It's like one of my top three holidays for sure. And like coming to Spirit Halloween every year, it's just like a tradition. Like if you guys don't do that, then you're missing out. We got our blood and it's probably literally like $50 for this little thing. Everything here is overpriced, but it's Halloween, I guess. What, what do you expect? All right, here's our chain. So I'm gonna return it, so I obviously got to be really careful with it. We're just gonna make it look like I basically just cut someone up with this chainsaw. That's what we're gonna do. So for this bit you're about to watch, I actually was being investigated by the state of Georgia for homicide night. That sounds crazy, but it's 100% true. I swear to you, I'm not making this up. Got a phone call from a homicide detective in Virginia. Did I say Georgia? I don't know. Whatever. But we were in Virginia, so got a call from a homicide detective. Had to explain to them what I was doing. And it was, it was just pretty crazy. Do you have any opinion on that? What? I got contacted by a homicide detective because they, they thought I murdered somebody. Yeah, you better watch till the end, loser. Yeah, you're a loser if you don't watch all this video and comment something. 500 likes, let's go. Is this where I do returns? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Good, how are you? I bought this from you guys like a few days ago. Long story short, I've been in a relationship with my girlfriend and I caught her cheating on me with another guy. So, no, it's okay, but I had to go over to her house to cut some trees down with this thing. I had to cut some trees down with it after I found out about that. Oh, whoa. And I'm just trying to get rid of it. I can't, I can't never that. I'm just trying to get rid of this as fast as I possibly can. I can't have this in my hands. I can't, I can't have this. I have to call the manager. The manager? Yeah. Is it because I don't have a receipt? Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, I have this this chainsaw. And I just need to get it off my hands as soon as I can. You have your receipt? I can't accept it like that. Yeah, it's kind of messy. My girlfriend cheated on me and I caught her cheating, so I had to go over to her house and like cut down some trees, if you know what I mean. No, so I I won't be able to return it. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, hey, we're we're totally messing with you. Were you with the employees? Yeah, I work here. Oh, you do? But I just got here. What's wrong? Oh, well, did they tell you about me trying to return a bloody chainsaw? Oh, no. no. Okay, well, just let them know it was a joke. I don't know if they called the cops on me or anything. Oh my God. Yeah, it was just a joke. We're just making a video. <laughs> Hey, right, you have a good day. My neighbor, like, they have, like, a bunch of cats, and there's, like, a few of them that always, like, come onto our property, and I was just out there, like, cutting wood. Long story short, like, there's no problem anymore. 
he's like kind of like trying to figure out what happened. I kind of just need to get rid of this as fast as I possibly can. But like, I, I kind of regretted it after I did it. Okay. I don't have my receipt and I paid with cash. Is there like any way? Um, what's going on? Okay, is there any way I can return this? Oh God, no. What no, is that? I, I, I might have touched a cat or two. Uh, no, we can't. No, we Are you sure? Uh, I, I, I kind of really need to get rid of it. Because yeah. my neighbor's like trying to figure out what happened. No. Are you sure? I bought this chainsaw from you guys like a few weeks ago. I was cutting firewood in my yard and left it running. Well, my grandma lives with us. She doesn't like have like good balance or the best eyesight or whatever. She tripped and fell on top of it. Okay. I, like, I think she's gonna be okay. But I just decided this is too dangerous to have in our house anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. You got the receipt? No, I, I don't have the receipt. What is on that? Yeah, blood. blood and hair. My grandma fell on it. Like you can smell it, it's real blood. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, like I said, I, I, maybe I'll sell it on Facebook Marketplace if you guys can't take it back. Yeah. Well, oh my God, how bad did it hurt her? She tripped over it and fell on it, like got her like shoulder kind of and like ripped some of her hair out. It's not like she like got her head cut off or anything, but like, I don't know if I'll be able to return this. I'm sorry, I'm, this is kind of like hard for me. I, I bought this, we were cutting up firewood in my backyard with my brother. I don't know why he thought he was supposed to do it, but he was trying to mess with it and was messing with the chainsaw. And he like cut like right through our, like our little dog. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like put all this on you. Can I show you a picture of her? I don't know. We just had to bury her. You couldn't even do anything at that point. Her name was Missy, but oh um, yeah. Um, so I don't know. I just I I need I need to return this. I don't I don't have a box or my receipt. What? 